it's news time hello welcome to well news today i'm gonna talk about the wonderful hobby life for you short for one hobby expo 33 in japan now if you didn't know about this this is a big trade show where good smile shows a lot like basically everything they're gonna release they have statues they have figures they have model kits i think and hey, I tried to make this video already. I tried to make like an entire news video and everything that they've shown, but eh, I don't want to make five hour videos. So I decided to pick the stuff that I care about, only the figures I want to look at. And here's by the way, all the products. If you want to look at it, I put the link in the description, but here you have all the products and I don't know if this site is not really loading right right now because there's some big images. Let me try this again. Ah, that looks better. So yeah, you can have a look at all of this stuff. But uh, for me, I will only cover the things that are relevant to my interests. Starting off with a Batman figure that is relevant to my interests, but I'm probably not going to get it because it looks super expensive. But however, I, I love the idea of just like having a Batman that's like flying over the city. You have like the one rope that goes around here and you have an entire skyline at the bottom now the only thing i'm wondering is like this shot is taken from up above how's this gonna look like if it's in your shelf is this just this batman just flying up there and you can barely see him so kind of weird angle but you know it's a cool figure nonetheless moving right along to boobs and fate it's fate time you know it you know we love some fate and i do love some boobs but you know where, where's the where's the Figma? Where's the Figma for Lanza Minamoto no Raiku? Hot. Uh, this one is, by the way, just a figure. It doesn't say like from where, from which line it is. I thought it was pop up parade because we do have some pop up parade right there. There's a saber altar for pop up parade. I mean, I had, I dipped my toes into some pop up parades, and you do know I love fate. This one. I really want to. I really want to know how it looks in color, especially Saber Alter, because like there's all the red detail, the red line work. Uh, it, it seems like there is none of it in the mold from looking at it, but I I, I don't think it has to. So uh, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna have a look at that. And uh, same thing. We also have a Lancer from Heaven's Feel. Well, it doesn't really change that much from the design if it's like Heaven's Feel or whatever. But regardless of that, it's a Lancer. Lancer whatever you want to pronounce it, it, it looks all right. And uh, Nero, another one that's just like, it's not, the dress is not even see-through. The dress is not even see-through. I don't know. I don't know about this one. I love me some more, uh, but I don't know if this one's gonna cut it, but there we have the overview again. This, now let's get to the Figmas, because I just picked the rest of it, I just picked out some Figmas. Like I'm saying, the rest of the list, there is a lot more if you want to have a look at it go ahead but we're gonna have a look at figma zofia f shearing or have you even pronounced that bunny suit planning i don't know what that's about let me know in the comments if you guys know if this is based on anything or if this is just uh, an original figma design i don't think so but uh yeah i don't know what it is but it's opai and kawaii and it has bunny ears. It's like a mechanized bunny figure, whatever. It's hot. It has a giant thing, which sexual. Moving on. Then we have. I have never played Atelier Riza, but I've seen the artwork. I've seen the trailers. I've seen the game, and it looks so beautiful. And the main character of it is also all oh, so beautiful in certain areas i will not go into detail she thick boy but yeah, overall i like the design of this figure uh i never played the game but it's it's cute it's it's cute it's beautiful and she's got the bow chikawawa speaking of bow chikawawa we got figma Ange, and uh i forgot the other one because i only have this one open but uh you have these two which are based on Shunya Yamashita artwork. If you don't know who Shunya Yamashita is, well, then you don't know who Shunya Yamashita is, but he does some amazing artwork, has a great style, and I've always been a big fan of Shunya Yamashita artwork. 
Uh, there's been like the Creators Labo line, which had like uh, figures with statues just based on his designs, which I have one of them, but they were really expensive back in the day. But yeah, Shunya Yamashita and Figma coming together with like still uh, pending licensing. No, this is not pending. This is, yeah, pending. Pending, it's still pending, so. I hope they do it. While well, this one, you have a you have a fully colored version, so I, I hope they're gonna get this one over. Uh, bunch of fan servers, two very cool designs, very hot looking women, and uh, I love it, and I'm a fan of it. Figma Styles brings out another Makoto bikini armor. I skipped on the first bikini armor because I thought it was a bit plain, and I still stand by that. But I kind of regret not getting it after all, and. This one is basically, uh, it's the same body from what I can tell. Obviously, she's now blonde and she does have a cape. And I think the weaponry is different. I think regular Makoto Bikini Warrior, I'm sweating. Regular Makoto Bikini Warrior had uh, had also shield. She doesn't seem to have a shield or maybe she gets a shield later. But regardless of that, I probably gonna, probably gonna get this one though. Because like I'm saying, I'm kind of regretting not getting the, the original bikini armor and yeah. It, like if they if they keep it in line with like the Figma stars the best part about the Figma stars line is the prices I feel like because they don't have to pay any licensing like I just closed the other one but you don't have to play Shunya Yamashita do to to use their artwork or you had, don't have to play uh, um, whoever does fade again whatever you don't have to pay these guys so they just make their own designs and uh, I feel like they're killing it I'm liking the Figma stars what I've seen so far with, with the new stuff coming out where you have like real cloth outfits and whatever. I'm, I'm a big fan of it and I'm looking forward to it. So this one, cable looks good. And yeah, also great sword. And also the coloring, by the way, it looks a little bit of Saber Altar. You're getting Saber Altar vibes with like the, the Shin Guards and, uh, and the Forearm Guards and whatnot. So yeah, definitely an upgrade. Then I've already talked about this one. This is the Figma Makoto Sukaban version from Figma Stars. Makoto again in like this this um, more regular school outfit. There, there's a certain name to the style. I forgot, but you can you can let me know in the comments. There's a certain name of like the, this entire like a kind of JoJo aesthetic. I'm just calling it JoJo because that's the first thing that comes to my mind. You know, like you have like the, the, the Japanese bully. Well, it's not always a bully, but you have like oh, most of the time like just with the jacket and the hats and whatnot. It kind of goes into that that category and. Uh, uh, again, this figure is already out on pre-order. I highly recommend you get this because she comes with so many cool accessories. She does have a middle finger. No other figures ever come with a middle finger because companies don't have the balls to do that. They sometimes they have articulated fingers, but this one has a middle finger, and I'm showing that because middle finger on a Figma, and she looks great. She has like the the um, real cloth skirt. The face mask and whatnot. She has like an annoyed face, also. But yeah, again, this figure is already uh, out on out for pre-order on Ami Ami. Go out, have a look at all the accessories she comes with, and uh, I, I really, really recommend you pick this one up. Shaman King is coming back. I mean, it is the the manga is already in full swing. I think with um, their uh, you know I, I read Shaman King back in the day, so I do have some connection to it. It has one of the worst endings ever. And I hope they fix that, but I don't know if I want to pick up the new the new series yet. I don't. But regardless of any of that, I'm definitely looking forward to getting some Fingmas because it is a cool, well, fairly simple designs, but still it has its own charm. It has its own kind of style with like the bigger hands and whatnot. And it's it's really distinctive from anything else. And that's what I like about Shaman King. So here we got Anna Kiyama, which is the girlfriend of the main character yo asakura which already this is already i'm, I'm already liking this i'm already like loving that he has a little spirit and i hope i'm hoping that you know figma sometimes they don't go very deep with a line and uh i really hope they deliver a full shaman king roster and not just have like well again yo and anna that's about it so also pending license approval but uh, i hope i hope they get that Fate, back to fate, we are just a picture, just a fig, uh, Figma picture of Berserker Miyamoto Musashi, which is like one of the weirdest designs, but she has guns. She has sword guns. Final Fantasy VIII. 
I don't know what else to say. It's a Figma. It's Miyamoto. It's a Berserker. It's Fate. I buy it. There you go. Simple as that. Speaking of which, Figma, Lancer, Altria, Pen Dragon. Uh. Zoom. Zoom more. I can't zoom more. Okay. Anyway. Um. Uh, yeah. Boops. That's why. I, that's why I was getting with that. Um. Yeah. Great looking figure. Has another cloth cape. Big fan of it. And just a uh, just a weaponry. This this lance is crazy. Look at everything that kind of wraps around it. And yeah, uh, another great looking Fate Figma. It's not painted yet because <laughs> that's where they usually fail. <gasps> so it looks good right now. But uh, I mean, I'm excited to see how it looks when it's painted. And hopefully it's well painted well. And mm, most wanted top, I don't know, free. This is the Figma that a lot of us, myself included, have been waiting for. It's finally time to get another rider. Rider 2.0 from Fate Stay Night Heaven's Field. Finally, officially announced picture, blah, 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 prototype. It's time we're getting this because the original Rider was released eons ago. It's super expensive. It's one of the most expensive, like, uh, thing mouse out there. Up there with Invader Loom and whatnot. So it's, it's, uh, it's about time. It's about time we're getting another Rider because I want it, obviously, for my Fate collection. And uh, if they only could, could uh, roll out the other servants of fate stay night now good good smile how about where, where's berserker assassin and um casper we're still waiting on those but finally got rider don't want to complain so uh next up well the last two only have two more left which uh i'm curious about i'm not saying i'm buying it but like all the figments i've shown so far that's like 90 99% i'm buying it but the last two, I'm um, just like, mm. we got like the uh, Hololife production, Urua Urushia, which is just kawaii. It's just a very cool design, I feel like. And uh, it really depends how this one looks colored and uh, what she comes with. And that's that's what, what really going to decide if I'm going to get this one or not. But the prototype, it looks cute and I like cute stuff. So there's that. And finally, we have another bunny girl, which... Uh, there we have already color on, and I feel like this. Like, oh, like, I, I'm really liking this already. I'm probably gonna get this one. It's not a whole lot, by the way. There's a name, Usada Picora, Picora, whatever. So she's cute. She's ready to go, uh, and that does it for my uh, one hobby 33 overview news segment. Telling you what I want to get. Telling you, telling you what to look out for, especially for the Figmas. And like I'm saying, there's a lot more that you have, like Nandoroids and statues that just look amazingly insane. Like stuff like this. Like, I don't know what it's from, but I'm in love with it. Like, this is, the, it, this is like stuff where I'm just like, if I had more money, if I had more room to display stuff, I would just jump on this immediately. But, you know, as collectors, we have, we have to. We have to look for for the stuff that we really really need and then everything else there's also like stuff like this oh my god <sighs> ah! okay yeah uh enough about this but yeah basically if you want to torture yourself some more you can look at all these and be like oh i want this i also want this and i also want that and blah 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 so you can be like that and that's why i didn't didn't want to look at everything that's why i only picked out some stuff because if i had looked at everything that would have been my exact reaction for basically most of it oh there's also union i might get the union because it's pop up right and those are usually more affordable i really want a union where's my union good smile where's my max factory figma union no all right also this one i wanted to shout out to this one taiga i just love the the fierceness, the kawaii fierceness of like, of course she's called Taiga, Taiga, so gao, you know, I can I can hear it, I can hear it in the back of my mind if she goes gao, so it's just cute. It's a bunny girl, which is called Taiga, and she's kawaii as f, so I don't really know how to end these, so I'm just gonna say bye, thank you very much for watching, don't forget if you enjoyed this kind of content, hit it up with a like, subscribe for more, and stay tuned to the real pain. <laughs>